Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to jump right into it because you saw the title of the video and we have wallpaper to hang. So let's talk about some of the tricks and tips that I have learned the hard way that I'm hopefully able to save you some time. So the first one is do your research. So I purchased mine off of Amazon and I've used multiple types of peel and stick meaning different brands, uh, mostly brick though. So right here, I'm just gonna show you a couple pictures. You wanna see, get an idea of what the layout looks like, what the print looks like, um, you know, how is it gonna fit your decor? Just make sure you're looking at some of those things for when you decide. Go to Pinterest, that is an amazing resource to see how this looks in, you, you know, uh, pictures of homes and just layouts, things like that. Okay, so you can also use um, peel and stick wallpaper to fancy up some furniture. Um, that's I'm going to show you a, a brief snippet of that in this video as well. Uh, but it's just multiple uses for this and it could really transform things that you already have on hand. I've been a renter my entire adult life until recently and this is just a really quick way to make the apartment your own. All right, so moving along to tip number two, here's some helpful tools that are gonna make this process a lot easier. If you're a beginner, something like this uh, might help because it comes with pretty much everything I would recommend anyway. But the, you know, you have the X-Acto knife, you have a measuring uh, tool, a measuring tape, and then also uh, this little slicer. You don't need these items. These are just items that I found could be helpful, but you can use a razor blade, you can use a washcloth to you know, smooth out your surfaces. So look at what you have first, but if you are in the market for a, a compilation set like that, you can check that out. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're gonna do with this room. We recently purchased our first home, and this is my craft studio here. And so this wall uh, that you see blank, that is what we're gonna be working on today. So right here, I'm gonna pause the video because my one of my next tips here is uh, to paint your other walls first, if you plan on painting. And the reason for that is you don't wanna put up your wallpaper and then have to worry about taping it off and or getting you know, paint on it. And so I would just recommend you know making those mistakes if you need to on the corners first, and then you can cover it up with the wallpaper. So here's another look at the wall that we're going to do. We have a little bit of a tricky spot on the left-hand side with the window, but um, we'll work through that. So this is the wallpaper that I chose. This is a really pretty light colored brick. Um, very, very pretty. Now when you open up your sheets, you might notice it looks a little cartoony. I thought that too. I thought, oh, this isn't gonna look as realistic, but once you get it up on the wall, I, I feel it looks great. Um, so my next tip for this is measuring these things out. Make sure you measure your wall and make sure that you lay out your panels. I find that that's going to be the most helpful thing to do. I want to make sure that I'm lining up my brick where it needs to be. I get the colors that kind of look similar as you can see here. And so this way I know where I need to cut my, um, my sheets. Moving into tip five is hack time. This is the one thing that has helped me so much to get proper alignment for this. I've seen online people recommending that you uh, start in the middle of your wall for a more seamless look. And I'm sure that there is some reason for that, but I find starting with the wall so I can line up perfectly is my best bet. When you're dealing with brick, there's cut off anyway. And so right here, I am going to use painter's tape to hold my pieces in place for me. Because if I try to, and, and I have not removed the back at all, don't remove the back at all. Use that tape as your guide to hold it for you before you start. I do one panel at a time. So on the right, you can see that's already stuck to the wall. On the left, I'm getting ready for my next one. Another thing I wanted to mention is you can see the difference in the color between the two. That's because the yellow wall underneath. So keep that in mind when you're putting up your uh, peel and stick. If it's a little see-through or transparent, you're gonna be able to see a little bit of a tint difference. But once it's all up, this is what it looks like. So you, know, you have to be um, creative on the sides here and make sure that you cut down your panels to hit those little corner pieces, but it's very simple to do if you use that trick. 
Now, something I want to mention before we move on is when you're pulling down your wallpaper, um, from the, start from the top down, you want to pull it evenly with both of your hands. That's why the tape is so important because you, it's like a third hand for you to hold it in place. Okay, so I do have a bonus tip, and that is to use a ruler or something straight edged when you are cutting off all of your excess. So I have my X-Acto knife. You can use a razor blade, a box cutter, whatever. Um, but right here, you want to put a ruler right next to it. Um, I didn't have footage to show you that. It's something I learned later on, but I wanted to include it as just a bonus tip. So the last thing I did on this wall, or one of the last things, was put this really pretty decal up. Very simple to put up. I got this one at Lowe's, I believe. I'll try to find it below and link it if I can. Um, but yeah, it just adds a nice little something to the brick. I thought that was a lot of fun. And then here is, in better lighting, my finished wall. And so I think the color contrast between the um, color I chose for the walls and the brick it's just really it's exactly what I was going for very soothing very soft um, really happy with them so what else am I doing to fancy up my studio so let's look at this wonderful desk this is my favorite desk it's a I call it a craft desk because it's just perfect for that but it's a huge and I just love it but the top just leaves something to be desired. Um, it's uh, as much as I tried to clean it off, it's just not working. So I picked up this marble uh, peel and stick contact paper. And this is um, a little bit thicker. It's shiny and it's not something I would put over my entire wall. Um, but I have my tools ready and I'm just going to show you here starting off on the side. And do you see how the two sides of the peel and stick are right there. You never want to pull off the backing all at once. That is going to be, unless you have two or three people helping you, but even still, I would just recommend going little by little and then pressing it down as you go. And so there's the first half of the table done. I'm really, really happy with the way this table turned out. I just feel it's so much more classy, sleek, clean, and it's a slick surface. So if I do get anything on there, it's a lot easier to clean up. So that was a lot of fun. I'm really, really just excited about that. Okay, so I'm going to show you just a couple other things that I did. This is our old rental property. So that's the blank wall uh, in the dining room. And that is the brick I used for that wall. So that was fun. And here it is all finished up with the furniture and whatnot. And then lastly, our new home in our dining room. I thought this wall needed a little something. So this is a little bit more of a dark gray than what I showed you in my studio. And I have that in the dining room and I love it so much. So I hope this video was helpful for you to see some of the tips for hanging your peel and stick wallpaper. If you have any questions or anything I left out, please uh, hit me up below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer those. I want to make sure I'm as helpful as possible and can assist you through your wallpaper hanging needs. Thanks so much for stopping by for hanging out with me. If you like to see more videos on this channel, I do a lot of money savings tips, hacks, uh, crafting in general, and I'd love for you to join me. So hit that subscribe button and the like if this video was helpful for you. I hope you all have a wonderful week. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.